Can you come on out, please? Let's go. I can see you. Can you get out, please? Come on. Go on out. Out of my shed. I'm sure it's not that much warmer in here than it is outside. Okay. Out of my shed. Let's go. Keep going. Come on. Out. Nope. Nope. Hey, 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 hey. Get out. Go out there. Out in the wilderness. Listen, dude. You have to leave. Can you go? He worked his way into the corner. So I decided that he wasn't going to come out on his own. And I made a little loop and a ratchet strap and worked it around his neck. And I just pulled it tight and just pulled him out. He absolutely refused to come out of that shed. Let go. Let go. this through. I got him out of the shed. But now I can't get the leash off of him. Huh. One way I could think of to get that loop around his neck come off was maybe grab it with the, the tine of the rake and pull the loop open. He wanted nothing to do with that. So then at that point I was just about to just cut the the strap off as close as I could to him and let him work it work it off himself. And when I had him under the boat there I had him wedged up in the corner against the tire and I was able to at that point just reach my hand around the back of his neck and just pull this pull the loop off because of the previous run-ins I've had with raccoons getting into my chicken coop and I'm sure that this is why the why this guy was around he probably was trying to get my chickens last night I was really surprised that I decided to let this guy go. This is your only but chance. I gave him one more chance, and if he comes back, if you come back that you're will done. be the end. Of him. So hopefully he you stays away. If you come back, you're a goner. Okay, that was your only chance. <laughs>